everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video i hope you are having a good week so far i know it's only monday but it is bank holiday monday so i hope you're enjoying a day off or just a chill day um so today i wanted to just film a video i mean i don't have an idea today so i literally just wanted to like make something up as i go along normally when i make my videos i plan stuff out ahead sometimes um but today I was not really kind of, I just don't know what to do. I'm kind of like in a funk, but I thought, you know, I really want to put some makeup on today and film for you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do something random today. I bought down a couple of products that I really haven't used before. Um, and then I've got my Jeffree Star Morphe palette that I have been wanting to try and use again for so long and I haven't done it in a while. So I thought today is probably like the perfect day to do it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of get going. So I've got my collection primer as per usual. Um, but another reason why I wanted to film something nice today is because um, it's mine and my husband's four year like engagement. Um, I know that's a weird thing to celebrate that we're married, but it's, um, we well, so we have been engaged for four years now. That's gone by so bloody quickly it's, in, it's insane um but i was the one who proposed to him um and honestly it's one of the most nerve-wracking amazing things i've ever done in my life um but yeah if you follow me on instagram um on my facebook you can check out like the picture of us and all the, like the stuff that i wrote um but yeah today i thought let's just do like a nice little look because it's a day to celebrate you know we're not like doing anything obviously because of lockdown but it's just something nice for myself as well just to kind of look a bit nicer because <laughs> tomorrow we're both back at work um and yeah I thought you know the reason that I like talking about the engagement is because we are married but we're not married we're like we haven't been to like a registry office if you know what I mean um so I'm choosing the new collection foundation um yeah, so we're married under like Islamic like Sharia law basically, but I guess that does count in the UK. Um, but I kind of also want to have like another wedding, you know, like a reception wedding and stuff like that. But it's been quite difficult because we've we've been living um, obviously together since we got married, which is almost two years now. Um, but we haven't been able to like save up for our wedding and stuff, which is okay because, you know, we want to like find somewhere to live first and, you know, everything else. But I always like to celebrate our engagement because, you know, it's just something really special to us because, um, you know, it's the day you got engaged and the day that you kind of know that you want to spend the rest of your life with this person. Um, and I knew that quite early on, like I wrote that in my kind of status thing that um you know for a long time previously we were talking about it and you know going oh you ever get married blah 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 and I thought you know this is going to be the perfect time to like do it so we were going away for like a few days um and I thought you know what this is going to be the perfect time for me to ask him because it was like a leap year not that it would have mattered as well um but you know a lot of people are like oh a leap year and a woman can ask a man to marry him and I'm like well to do that anyway like what's this whole stereotype of a man having to ask a woman to you know marry them and I've always been quite you know a strong-minded girl and I've always been try to I've always tried to be quite independent when it comes to that kind of stuff and um I was just like yeah let me ask him because I've got well if he had said no obviously I would have got that to lose but I don't really have anything else to lose anyway um and I got his ring from the great frog which is an amazing um jewelry shop um I got it from the one in Carnaby Street and I had been researching it for quite a while um because you know it's to choose a ring for someone is so is so um it's so personal and I kind of got a couple of um some of his relatives to, like help me choose one because um, I didn't want to just kind of go, oh, you know, this is it. And it kind of them, everyone else be like, oh, well, that's not really him. But then, you know, I kind of chose it on the aspect of, I think that he would like it in that sense. Cause obviously I know him quite well. <laughs> um, 
but yeah I just it is one of the most nerve-wracking things I've ever done in my life but honestly it's one of the most special and amazing things you could ever do and girls if you ever want if you're ever thinking of proposing to your boyfriend or your partner you're not you know just do it there's nothing to lose like if a guy gets a bit arsy because you propose to him then there's clearly something wrong in that aspect I mean the whole stereotype of oh a guy like a you know like I mentioned a girl should you know wait for a guy I'm like why you know some guys probably don't always want always have like the message of kind of like we're ready to settle down we're ready to do this ready to do that but you know sometimes if you think you're ready and you feel that that person might be ready but they don't they haven't you know thought about taking you know that important step yet just do it I mean if he says no then okay I mean but then does that mean you want to spend the rest of your life with them? I don't know. It, it's very different for a lot of people because obviously not everyone wants to get married and that's totally fine. And then there's people who are engaged for years and years um, and they never get married. And then that's, you know, that's fine. I'm not going to kind of go, oh, you should do this, you should do that. I mean, live live your life, live your best life. Life is too short sometimes to not take that plunge um so i'm going in with you know one of my favorite revolution um blusher reloaded in rose kiss this is very similar to um the milani one that i like to use so i'm just kind of telling you a couple of the products that i'm um using today because you know this is a makeup channel not a uh, <laughs> life information channel um but yeah girls if you ever feel like you want to take that plunge and prepare and like and like propose to your partner just do it i mean you know there's so many people out there that are taking that plunge every day and good on them you know you don't sometimes if you feel like you're going to be waiting forever and you want to do it just do it i mean i just did it because i'm very impatient and i knew that if i was going to propose to him uh, you know we'd get things moving and everything and obviously we're married now we've been married almost two years that's insane um but yeah i'm so happy he's just the most amazing person i will try and get him on my channel one day <laughs> one day we'll see um so for the highlight i was just using um a kind of an old i don't know if they still do this anymore but it's um a baked highlighter from barry m um and yeah i'm gonna go on to the eyes next we're gonna like i mentioned we're doing the jeffree star morphe palette today i watched his video yesterday about his new dogs and oh my god one of them looks like an ewok like i don't know if anyone knows what an ewok looks like um <laughs> but they're just little teddy bears oh my god i was absolutely i'm in love with his dogs they're most they're like the most gorgeous things ever um but yeah if you've never seen this palette before it's such a great shade range i mean there's a lot of white a, a bit a lot of like nudes i'm not really sure why he kind of chose a lot of nudes but you can kind of see the big color selection um and today i'm just gonna go in with some like random colors because life is random so we're just gonna go over something a bit crazy um i might try and do like a multiple colored look i've got my um concealer with me as well just so i might attempt to do a cut crease because that's one of my jams now i love doing cut creases because why not um so yeah i'm gonna go in with one of my big fluffy brushes brushes not brushes um we're gonna go in with the darker shade first so let's try boss angeles i think i, I think i have used this palette quite recently I don't remember. I really don't remember what happened yesterday, to be honest. So um, <laughs> we're going to go in with uh, Boss Angeles and we're going to put them just on our crease. And I love this palette because it's so pigmented and it is gorgeous. So I'm going to just kind of put it on the top lid because I have very hooded eyelids, um, which is the bane of my life because you know if i do really nice eyeshadow looks i really want to like show them off um let's just blend it softly towards my eye but yeah i i do love this palette um and i love seeing his dogs oh my god like i love animals and i wish we had pets but where we live at the moment we can't have any pets so one day when we move into our own place there's a lot of fallout on this palette um we will get a cat and just oh my god i can't wait one day one day that is the dream 
but yeah Boss Angeles is such a nice it's like a dark orange but like a brown orange um and yeah I do love this palette my sister bought this to me as a birthday gift just last year um and yeah I love using it I haven't had a chance to use it like a lot um especially like because I tend to go to like the same colors again and again there's nothing wrong with that um but I guess you know if I want to just test out all of them then one day I might do that so yeah that's Boss Angeles I'm gonna cut my crease just because um we're gonna try and get a lot of pigment in these pa in this palette today um I don't know what I'm gonna go in with but I'm gonna just quickly do this and let it dry down because one thing I've kind of learned about this concealer it does take a little time for it to dry um so yeah we're cutting it just so we can get a bigger statement I guess I mean the shades are very pigmented but I think when you lay down like a wet base um it sticks to them just a little bit more um so yeah trying to get my eyelids to like match is <laughs> it's not gonna work never gonna work one day but I mean I'm getting better I think you know my skills are so yeah I think the more practice and the more videos I make the you know my skills might get a little bit better we can see we can hope but yeah I'm gonna let that dry down a bit and I guess I don't know what shade to go in with next it's such a weird selection of colors because obviously I got the orange but I might go in with wand noise which is a bright orange just here and I might um I guess maybe put that in my corners because I guess I get again we're making it up as we go along because we did not come prepared but that's fine so yeah one noises is an actual orange so it's a very bright orange which we're going to put in the corners it's very very pigmented I like it don't think I've used this shade before saying that I probably have again my memory is pretty bad so yeah I've got that in the corner and I'm just going to take it up a bit high a bit higher and oh it's nice it's not a crazy orange i mean it's pigmented but she's not she's not crazy yeah i like this look so far i mean i've only just done two shades but i like it um but yeah it's just it's a nice palette as i've mentioned every five minutes right so yeah as you can see i've added the um one noise and the corner and then let's go in with uh, it's too many it's too many like I don't know the color selection is so random to try and even think of what to put in next but let's go in oh my god I should have actually thought about this in the beginning what to actually go in with um let's go in with what's the tea I mean it's quite a weird green um yeah this is it might not work but um wow a lot of fallout in that one um we're gonna go on the top yeah let's do it oh it looks like um a khaki green i guess i'm gonna blend it into that like, yeah into the orange uh, it's quite dark oh god it's all right it's fine we're gonna blend it in and we're going to put a, a shimmer down last just so we can stand out a bit today even though obviously we're not going anywhere hope you guys aren't going anywhere obviously unless you have to go shopping have to go to work unfortunately a lot of us have to thankfully I can work from home so I'm, I'm able to you know just have my computer and obviously not a lot of people have that luxury um, but then some people obviously have no work at all, so I'm very sorry if you are one of those people. Um, hopefully this will pass, all things must pass, as the great George Harrison said. Um, okay, so we're looking a bit random, we're looking okay. I'm going to go in with a shimmer next because we need to just brighten this up a bit. Um, let's go in with... Uh, let's just choose, we're just going to choose one, let's, let's try Welcome, which is this silver up here, 
um, because we need to be no you know what I'm gonna use my finger because every time I use a brush it does not work so clean finger and welcome woo -hoo. okay let's go oh yes okay yeah that's gorgeous I mean I know a lot of people like tap it on but I don't I don't tap I just I just scrape down basically because that's gorgeous that's nice I guess people call that like a halo eye I don't know why um well that rhymes um and we're gonna go on this side as well because yeah I mean this look is pretty good if I don't really if I say so myself it's nothing too crazy because again we're making it up as we go along but yeah that's quite nice I like that um again this palette I mean I should have thought a bit more ahead as to what I wanted to do but that's fine again that's why we're here making it up as we go along and I thought I would bring down one of my eyeliners from Revolution so this is from a Revolution Pro and it's like a it's just called gold Um, I might put it in like my lower lash line just to see if um it will work you know why not I haven't used this in a while um and yeah it's coming out Mm. I need to sharpen this but I mean I should have put something on my lower lash line but that's fine I'm going to use this instead it's coming off but if not it's not as pigmented as I would like um, it's fine let me just bring you guys in a little bit and then you can have a look at what my actual eyes look like hello so as you can see my eyes are looking pretty gorgeous if I don't say so myself I've got the gold eyeliner at the bottom which isn't as kind of pigmented as I would like to but it still looks pretty good um, and I'm gonna go in lastly with my lips now so I'm gonna push you guys back just a little bit <laughs> okay so we're gonna go in with the lips last and we're going in with a BH Cosmetics um, cashmere cream I've only I've never used this on my channel before but I've used it obviously like just normal when I wear my makeup and I do really like this and I do need to buy some more shades I think I, yeah I got this on um Beauty Bay because they are the best at like getting stuff basically um but yeah it was on sale when I bought it um uh, and I love BH Cosmetics one second let me just get this on I thought I would use this today because I've not again like I mentioned I've not actually used this on my channel and I've not used it in a while um, and it is a nice color as well just get that quickly oh gone a bit over that's fine okay so Oh god, I'm going over so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is in the shade. Hang oh god, hang on. Let me just check. This is in the shade. Oh god, hang on. I've got the box right here. Sorry. The uh, uh, it's in Savage. Yes, and this is on uh, Beauty Bay. You can get them on Beauty Bay. I've got this all over my hands now because I'm a klutz. Um, but yeah, I love this liquid lipstick. It's so creamy and it is just very softening on the lips as well. It comes off more pink um, than red, which is fine. But I am not really a pink kind of person. But again, it works. It stays on for quite a while. Um, and yeah, it looks super cute. So that is my finished look. That is just more of a kind of random video that I've done today. Um, hopefully in the future I will... Be a bit more imaginative with my looks but hope you have enjoyed this um but yeah i've started my oh my god what is wrong with me i started my weekly vlog again so um this the video will probably be up on saturday for that but hopefully i'll bring something out before then because i'm back to work tomorrow so we shall see what my timings will be like but thank you so much for watching um take care be safe, don't forget to subscribe and like if you want to and I will hopefully see you very soon guys, bye!